Hello there, I'm James here from Yule Users. Um, today I just received the Sailfish 1.0 update, um, which is supposedly 1.0 and uh, out of beta. I just want to show you that it is 1.0.4.20. Which is quite amazing to have because many were having I mean, a little bit of <coughs> trouble to get the update. Anyway, um, these these changes, as we showed before, starts from the lock screen. So now, uh, when you have your device in your hand and you are the you are a first timer, you don't know how to uh, actually work with the device, so you just unlock and when you tap it indicates that hey flick me up so let's just do that the UI is smoother than before and it goes to the settings application as you can see we have now another icon here alongside with the others which wasn't there and it was really killing my OCD there uh, it is the internet sharing option that if I turn off the wireless LAN and the device goes to uh, data connection mode yeah uh, sorry about this annoying IR thing it's just there I can't do anything about it so let's just go to the uh, internet sharing then I can just turn the hotspot on and it says Connected. So uh, one of the significant changes to the update is that uh, the wireless and data connection issue that they they were both on together and it would uh, cause a, a loop that is uh, gone now. So it won't say problem with connection, problem with connection like every second, and it freezes the, and it won't freeze the device anymore. In the system settings we now have this Bluetooth sync as I showed you before in the previous video about Sailfish 1.0 as MWC that you can add a new device I have my computer and I have the, the, the Bluetooth speaker but I haven't I haven't checked uh, what actually can be done with this but it's probably just syncing some some of your backups contacts of or, or, or something like that um, then we have this untrusted software thing where you can uh, enable it and then install whatever application you want and the cool thing is that now uh, application installation is easier from just just the UI like if we go to transfers I have these two um, RPM files so I just tap on them and uh, I'm not sure if it's visible but yeah like that it says install and I can just tap and it's it gets installed and here it has some information about the application uh, in text input we have new thing keyboards we can just enable disable them well, let's just enable that and uh, there we go so I just need these for now if I create a new message and I check here I only have like three keyboards it's the MAG, the Swedish keyboard and the English keyboard which are the ones I need and uh, well speaking of keyboards the key the keyboard layout has been changed uh, sorry not the layout the the fonts and the background has been changed the background is a little bit more pronounced now and it's um, more related to, to your ambience um, the fonts are now whitened and a little bit boldened as you can see um, then we have these indicators here which are again boldened up and they are they are brighter than before you can exactly see what's going on um, what else do we have in the camera I actually have a lot of applications going on here um, but we have now tap to focus 
anywhere you can tap and it will focus we didn't have that before we have the exposure settings that can easily be accessed we have new bunch of settings here this was here before but the the timer is now there the the grid let me just show you then we have the grid for rotate the camera for yeah we have this so I'm just covering it because I want you to see the grid if I, I want it to be visible and that's me um, ISO we have different ISOs and we have auto as as before and we go to uh, video cam we also have the same same layout now what will happen if for example we want to replace our um, for the capture key like put it here everything changes as you can see put it here these two just like put it here they move we don't wanna put it here they move there so there's no problem still no problem interacting with the um, place of the shutter key um, let's go back to the camera still the flash is still uh, not usable while uh, taking videos but yeah, anyway uh, the okay, camera stops. also has, has changed the the cover um, let me just bring it closer so you can see it's definitely better it shows that it's the camera with this big, big icon there and then the icons the, the information are shown which is not necessarily a bad thing there um, what else do we have let's go to gallery we have the portrait support for gallery so it simply supports portrait and uh, well, we have oh, sorry when we play a video on so I just push it out of the way and the pause video is there this is one of the changes um, here the next big change is in uh, is on Yola store when I open Yola store the whole thing has been changed and improved it is a very neat neat feature now because it was well let's be honest it was a mess before but now uh, there's no flicking anymore so you can't like go to this page and that page which is better in my opinion because it's a solid thing now you have one page then you have activity like people like comment favorite whatever then you have new apps which are which is a very good thing that wasn't there before and everybody was like hey how can I find new apps then there's top apps you know, obviously top downloaded apps and Android support is the, it's the first one this is funny and categories which was the flicking option before but now it is like down there because nobody cares about categories do they you can sorry you can search or go to my apps this is like before nothing nothing new there the calendar app there are some changes there so you can manage calendars and it, it now uses Gmail as well the Google services go to today create new event so you can oh and in create new event you have this all day option sorry you have this all day option which uh, just de deactivates the timing and you simply can have your event for all day saved for all day in the media player when we go to albums and when an album has an album art you now have the album art um, shown in a, in a very big tile and there's nothing 
like it's nothing changed. So basically the same. Even this menu is the same. I just stop it and yeah, everything's the same. And we have um, the clock app, which had a little bit of change. Like when I want to set an alarm. I'm not sure if you can see it, but when I set it, it oh, it's too bright, I guess. But it says the remaining time up there. So now I know, uh, like, how many hours do I have to, do, uh, how many hours is available for me to sleep. Mm, and normally I sleep more than that. Anyway, there's also one more thing that is quite visible on the home screen, but uh, but in compared to previous Sailfish. 1.0.3.8 uh, the, the the glass functionality of the backgrounds are actually <coughs> how to say they are thicker glasses with, with more color so now they are more differentiated and the corners are now more rectangular they are not rounded as before they are more uh, like the device itself so they are, they replicate it quite well. I have a press effect to the launcher items according to the change log. Like before, when I pressed something, it would just open. But now, when I press it, I just want to make it visible. Yeah, you see, when I press it, it changes color according to your ambience. There are a lot of fixes in the browser, but not not visible as such to to show you guys because well it looks the same but it has much more advanced uh, features in it advanced fixes in it let's say and well oh and notice the X here the new thing when you're closing uh, the X has been changed so like before there was only just one normal X but now there's a circle and an X in the middle so it's now more visible to the eye also while locking the device this lock thing comes instead of the whole screen going blank this lock animation lock um, image or whatever you want to call it comes there and shows you that yeah I'm, I'm locking the device I just leave it there's also this um, new uh, Android application compatibility layer which is not all new but as you can see it, run, it ran so fast and it is much much more smoother than before that's cute it is... oh look at that but anyway um, it is very smooth. It's like you're running an Android device, right? And then uh, let's open. Sorry, open another app. Like let's say Twitter. Having it as smooth. It wasn't this responsive before, I can say. By the way, you can now follow me on Twitter at James Nuri. Let's just launch Facebook as well, just to be sure. Okay, it doesn't even bring up the blue uh, Facebook thingy. Uh, the splash screen that, that it always used to bring up and it is it is indeed very smooth that was pretty much it uh, you can you can check our website for the known the known issues and for many other uh, uh, many other detailed change log if you want to uh, explore the selfish 1.0 more and notice that I'm still using my wooden back cover, which is absolutely awesome. Thanks, Lost2Case, for that. Yep.
this was the Sailfish uh, 1.0 and cheers. <laughs>